Hello, I'm Moses from Zeret Network. Now look, if you are um, in business, okay, let's say you're in business, you're selling electronics. And so this client emails you asking about uh, certain laptops, okay, certain type of laptop, they even give you the specifications. And, uh, you know, you email them back telling them how much you're selling them for and they tell you they're interested in a number, okay, 10, and they like to know if you do deliver and how much it will cost them to do that. And, uh, you know, they, they just ask you a bunch of questions. So the question is, why are they asking you this? Is it because they want to contract with you or is it because they are just interested in information? In fact, one of the questions that uh, I came across while going through uh, the, this business exam that was done by some accounting students was, what is the difference between an offer and an invitation to treat? So what is the difference between an offer and an invitation to treat, which is what you're going to talk about in this video. So look, uh, in business, okay, most people don't just rush into contracts because the thing about business deals is that there are liabilities that comes with them. And in most cases, there's going to be legal implication and not just business, not, not just liability in the form of, you know, the obligations that are uh, expected of you. So it's important for you to understand whether the other party is actually making you an offer or they're simply telling you stuff. They're not really making you an offer. They're simply telling you stuff hoping that, um, you know, you're going to make them an offer. So that is why the difference between an offer and invitation to treat is important. What is an offer? Well, an offer is an expression of interest, okay? Or an expression of willingness, rather. An offer is an expression of willingness to get into a contract on definite terms. If those terms are accepted, they're simply saying that, look, these are my terms. And if you accept these terms, then we have a deal. And so <clears throat> the intention usually matters, the wording matters, you know, the context matters. But an invitation to treat on the other hand is something different, okay? Think about going to a supermarket. When you get into a supermarket, what actually happens is that you see products arranged with price tags attached to them. Now, at that point, the supermarket isn't really selling you anything technically. What they're really doing is they're showing you what they have, and then you decide if you want to buy or not. And so when you pick something from the, from the aisle and then take it down to the, to the cashier, what you are effectively doing is that you are making the supermarket an offer to buy whatever it is that you picked. What they were doing, they were simply inviting you to come and do so. So their action is an invitation to treat. Your action is actually an offer. So it's important to know the stage you are in as far as a contract is concerned. Okay, are we, are we in an offer stage or are we just saying staff hoping that the other party is going to make us a deal? For the most part, the reason why it's not always a good idea to rush into making offers is because in negotiation, the first person who says the number tend to lose. Okay. So sometimes when you're negotiating, you're just setting up the situation. Okay, you know, you're still going to say the number, right? But at times when you're negotiating, you're just setting up a situation so that when the other person says the number or when you say the number, you are certain that this person is going to accept it. And it's not just about numbers. It could be about your terms. When you say your terms, you are certain that the other party is going to accept those terms. So that is the reason why it's important for you to understand the difference between an offer and an invitation to treat. So an offer, we've said, is an expression of willingness to get into a contract on definite terms if the terms are accepted. An invitation to treat, on the other hand, are just things you say or actions you take to get the other party into a position where they can make you an offer or you can make them an offer. And the effect is actually going to be seen down the line when you're talking about things like terms of a contract where there's, uh, you know, you have to distinguish between a term, which is actually duties and obligations of the parties in that contract, and representation, which are just things that you said with an intention of getting the other party into the contract. So look, um, if you have any question, do let me know. Okay, I'm Moses from Zeret Network, and I'll see you in the next video.